Ben Curry was born in 1896 in St. Paul, Minnesota. He's a 1914 graduate of the St. Paul Mechanic Arts High School. Curry went on to study mechanical engineering at the University of Minnesota and became a machinist apprentice in the steam locomotive overhaul shops of the Northern Pacific Railroad in St. Paul. He learned to repair, disassemble, and reassemble locomotives. At the outbreak of World War I, there was an urgent need for battlefield ambulance drivers in France. A recruiting office for the Norton Hargis Volunteer Motor Ambulance Corps was established at the U of M. Ben joined as a civilian in 1917. The ambulance service was disbanded several months after his arrival. He then went to work in Paris for the Corps of Engineers assisting in designing the water and sewer systems for the new airport being constructed at Tours. Curry left France in November of 1917, returning to St. Paul. In January 1918, he traveled to Omaha, Nebraska to enlist in the Army's Signal Enlisted Reserve Corps. He received orders to the School of Military Aeronautics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Upon completion of his training, he was commissioned a second lieutenant engineer officer in the Air Service and was assigned to the first training wing at Mineola, Long Island, New York. In November of that year, he passed his flight test, soloing in a Jenny becoming a reserve military aviator. In December 1919, he received his aviator certificate from the Aero Club of America. He returned to the U of M and in 1920 finished his mechanical engineering degree. In 1942, Curry joined Northwest Airlines and was assigned as general manager of Northwest's Vandalia, Ohio, B-24 Modification Center. In 1944, he was transferred to the Holman Field St. Paul Modification Center. Under his supervision, B-24s were fitted with radar units, converted to tankers, and reconnaissance aircraft. In 1946, Curry's family bought Island View Lodge on Gull Lake near Brainerd, and Curry went back to work for Northwest as contract manager, overseeing the construction of the B-377 Stratocruisers. When he returned, he became supervisor of line maintenance and in 1951 became manager, mechanical division. He resigned in 1952 to manage the lodge full-time. In 1962, the FAA was about to cancel his inactive pilot's license, but Curry decided to become an active pilot once more. He joined the Crow Wing Flying Club at Brainerd, flying a Bonanza aircraft, and flew frequently with his family. He retired from active flying at age 74, 56 years after his first solo flight. Please join me in welcoming Ben Curry to the Minnesota Aviation Hall of Fame.